ဟလိုဝဲမိကလာဝအခုကျွန်တော်ဝပြုကွက်ရှင်းစီစီကိုစားတိတော့မှာဖြစ်ပါတယ်။ဒီကနေ့ပို့ဆောပြီးတဲ
ကျွန်တော်တို့ဘာတခြားရမရှိပါဘူးကျွန်တော်တို့ဘာတခြားရမရှိပါဘူးကျွန်တော်တို့ဘာတခြားရမရှိပါဘူးကျွန်တော်တ
ကျေးကြီးကြီးမှာတယ်ကျေးကြီးကြီးမှာတယ်ကျေးကြီးကြီးမှာတယ်ကျေးကြီးကြီးမှာတယ်ကျေးကြီးကြီးမှာတယ်
Thank you, Pastor Daniel. Um, we're going to go to the um, group song, Cornerstone Crane Baptist Church. I could apply to Chin, go to Chimwa Bima, Crane Cornerstone Crane Baptist Church, and he covered it. This is the kind of special prayer go FBC senior pastor Chris Jason. And he, ขอเรียกเสร็จต่อมาพี่ป่ะเร Yeah. 
Amen. Well done. Uh, we'll turn our attention now uh, to prayer. Uh, and as we do, let me introduce myself. I'm Chris Johnson. I'm a pastor here at the First Baptist Church of San Antonio. And we're grateful that we can be together um, in this way today. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to lead us in prayer uh, for. Uh, one of those is for our churches. Uh, there's a number of churches represented here today, and we're grateful that we can work together and grateful for those opportunities to be together. And so we'll, I don't think we'll ever take that for granted again. Of us being together because there was a time in the last year we weren't able to be in the same room and it's beautiful and wonderful to, to be back in the same room together. And so we're going to thank the Lord for that and we're going to pray for our churches. And following that, we're going to, to pray for Burma. We're going to pray for peace. We're going to pray for God's intervention and, and ask the Lord to be the deliverer that we know that he can be. Um, so with those things said, uh, let us move to, to our prayer time. Lord, we are thankful. We are thankful that we get to be together. Lord, you have ordained it that we would be in this room together today celebrating Judson Day. Lord, that you bring Karini and Corinne and Burmese and Zomi and, and the First Baptist Church of San Antonio. Lord, you, you bring us all together because we worship one Lord. And, and Father, we thank you for the opportunity to, to gather and to sit with one another and sing praises to your holy name. Lord, it's a beautiful representation of heaven. And Lord, I pray for each of the churches that are represented here today. Lord, we pray that we would go with, with, a, with a, a spirit of fire in our bones. Lord, that we're excited about what's next and excited about the work that you're doing in our communities. And Lord, we pray that you would fill us up with the spirit so that, that we can be about your work. Lord, we recognize that, that the kingdom of God is at hand and we pray that any way we can serve and be a part of that, Lord, we, we pray that you cause our churches to do just that. And Lord, I pray over every church that's represented here that you would cause us to flourish. Lord, that we would cling to the cross of Jesus Christ and proclaim his name as loudly as we possibly can. And Lord, that we would stand on that truth. And Lord, no matter what comes at us from the outside, whether it's a pandemic or any other thing that this world might throw at us from the outside, Lord, we pray that we would stand up on the truth of Jesus Christ, Lord, and proclaim your grace and proclaim your truth. And Lord, we pray that you would give us the power in our churches to do that. And Lord, we pray that all along the way, you would begin to show us fruit. Lord, we pray that we'd see that fruit of faithfulness and obedience to you. And Lord, we pray that, that, that our churches would, would see just ever-growing fruit that gets to the point where it's like the size of the fruit in the promised land. And Lord, that it would be a beautiful thing in the life of our churches. And Lord, we pray that as we gather together again out of this pandemic, you would revitalize us with a new hope and new life. And Lord, as we look towards Burma, Lord, our heart breaks. There is pain happening there. And Lord, we have friends and family that are there who are hurting. We have friends and family there who are struggling. And Lord, we pray that, that today you would reach down from heaven. And Lord, all of those who are hurting, all of those who are hiding, Lord, all of those who are in fear today because of what's happening in the government and Lord, for the, the pressures that are coming in from the outside, Lord, we pray that your hand would reach down and touch their lives and bring them peace. Lord, for our friends and family that, that are seeking a way out, Lord, we pray that you would give them a way out. We pray, Lord, that you would be the deliverer. We have seen throughout Scripture, Lord, we've seen how you stepped in and you have been a deliverer first for, for Israel as you led them out of, out of Egypt. Lord, we have seen how Jesus Christ was our deliverer on the cross from sin. And Lord, we pray for a deliverance in Burma, Lord, that you would show yourself and that your truth would reign and, Lord, peace would be found. And we know that from heaven there comes a peace that passes all understanding. And for all of those who are hurting today, for all of those whose hearts and minds are in turmoil, we pray that they would know the Spirit and recognize the peace that comes up from the Spirit. And, and Lord, we pray that, that every, uh, every friend and every family member who is still there, Lord, would know your love today. Lord, from our prayer to your ear, 
from your hand to, to their bodies, Lord, would you show them your grace and raise them up and let them know undeniably that you're with them. Lord, we, we pray for the, the Christians in Burma that you would lift them up and let them know that you are their Lord and you are their God and you're going to protect them and you're gonna take care of them as only you can. And Lord, we pray that you would reveal yourself in, in such a way that, that it was just unmistakable. Lord, we pray that we would see miracles from heaven in Burma where the, the whole nation would look up and say, that must have been God. God must be about this because we, we can't explain it in any other way. We pray that even those in power would have to look up and say the name of Jesus Christ to recognize that only you could have done the kinds of things that are coming. And Lord, we pray that you would intervene in and on the nation in powerful, miraculous ways so that people will look up and say, the Lord our God is good. And praise the Lord Jesus Christ because he is our redeemer and our deliverer. And Lord, we can't wait to see what you're gonna do. We can't wait to see what you're gonna do in our churches and, and we can't wait to see what you're gonna do in Burma. Lord, that you would show yourself to be a mighty and powerful God, raising up your children to new life. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to walk in that freedom, that no matter what the world throws at us, we stand on the truth of Jesus Christ and we walk in the freedom of his grace and his forgiveness. And so Lord, we, we thank you for what you're doing. And Lord, we can't wait to see what you're going to do next. It's in the name of our Lord and risen Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for special prayer for Pastor Chris, Pastor Chris Jason. A two suit of Chico, Sutal Bidash, Pastor Chris go to Vegesu de Barea, who explaining all free go Shama Terrani. Yabia be my people already. Alumi Dine, Alumi Kao, Kayachi, and Jango do Piopia Bima Pibare. We go to go to explaining the offering prayer, and after that, we go to go offering prayer. Pastor Billy come. Jesus Damari, I will say in Burmese first. Then we'll follow in English. Nissin Sia Yutata Ni Wibu Puema Soy Jamaru Gaukan Yashire Lungi Miyagu International Ministry to at Dong Pu Kebari. Daime Dinni Dredo Yini Yini Ma Gaukan Yashire Lungi Miyagu Jamaru CRPH Committee representing Pidang Zuluto. Dr. Sasa Usang Ni Puedu Jamaru Daya Lutan Dwama Pibari. ยามาปีจ้วยลูกอัตโตอคังกันนามาอตุงปิบุผิดไปยามาปีจีหาโซลูชินคู่ชิมาตะเกกูอมองซงโตกาลากูยินไซเนียไปจมารุชิตโตต
will go to CRPH. Committee representing Pi Dao Zhu Luto, directing directly to Dr. Sasa to use where the needs are inside Burma. Right now, Burma is facing the darkest moment in its history. As we pray for the people that we love, including friends and ethnic groups, now I would like to invite you to give your offering for those who are suffering and a military coup. Jesus said, whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers and sister, you do unto me. Even though we cannot go there and do the work for the people of Burma, but we can do is we can reach our hands by giving offering. Let's contribute enthusiastically. You can donate this cash with cash or write a check. If you wish a check, please write to FBCSA and in memo put Myanmar or Burma. I pray that God will bless abundantly on each of you. Iku kama Pastor Billy Kam Ngani Biro Sutan Bima Pipare Kareni Ma Lurongwigu Kaukan Bibu Yan Dwe Shidu Jala Biba Jaru Lurongwi Eight Dong Eight Shibare Sia Billy Kam Sutan Bire Kamaro Sutan Bire Nama Jaru Group Song Uzumi First Baptist Church Gani Jama Pipare I would like to invite Pastor Billy come to pray for offering. At the same time, I would like to call uh, Karani leaders uh, to come at the front. We're going to pray first and, and uh, uh, to collect the for offering. Thank you. First of all, I would like to say this. Uh, would you join me in prayer also uh, uh, again for Burma? Because we need more and more prayer for Burma. So as much as we can. So while I'm praying for offerings. So let us pray. Nita Roshin Pa, Guroshin Di, Gaumia Solin Ye, Tana Yu, Guru Nani Pisun Domudo, Papia Pibari, Guroshin Jesuro Di, Jimia Labai, Guroshin Papia, Digine, Nile, Nyanakima, Tadmido Di, Nyanai, Suyomi Tagala, Guroshin. จนจนเราเมียเมียมาบีอัตเตปีแค่ตัวมิชชันนารีด็อกเตอร์อัตเตปีแค่ตัวมิชชันนารีด็อกเตอร์อัตเตปีแค่ตัวมิชชันนารี
democratic ma u song line pya zo don san su ji do lagao tamra ji do lagao u song to tu mya long bo ma ko ro shin pha pya kaung ji pe le athu ta phin nai ngan cha ma chi do doctor sa sa ne sia ph phwe ko sa la pi ko ro shin kaung ji pe ro mu ba di chin di kha ma le ko ro shin pha pya ta mi lo ya shi do kaung ji ming la pya pya de ga ne pi lo ko ro shin ยามานายงานจีตั้วอลุรองวีอาผิดอีเนียนายปีกันสุเจปาอีกรอชินอีปีกันสุเจชินอาปิปาวนซอยงจีตุยอกสิตันติยอกสิตันบอมากรอชิน
Now we go to scripture reading by Pastor Nan Lusing. I would like to read the Bible verse is uh, Psalm 126, verses six, 5 to 6. Those who show with tears will rape with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seeds to show, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. I would like to read in Burmese again. Jama Dine Padware Nukaba Dogaro Salan Teyana Se Chao Kumyoto Salan Apaine Nagani Chao Pipare Teyana Se Chao Kumyoto Salan Apaine Nagani Chao Nye Ye Jalye Nyozi Jedo Dudodi Shuen Lan Lye Saba Ye Jalye Ni Nye Ye Jalye Jayan, music go sound yet, tretwado duty. Gown, gow lime ya go sound yet, shrin land or sing it, a man, pian la lame, piashin gown ye shivazi. Goes wrong. Grew saw any Santo New Cred, Baptist Journey, this obeyman pibare. Uh, we got to go to group song, Santonio Korean Baptist Church, and uh, we go to go praise song, Amazing Great.
ကျေးစမျာကျေးစမျာကြီးတမာတယ်ကျော်ရိုခုချိန်မှာကြားအတေတနာကိုမကြာရကင်မှာကျမတို့နေနဲ့အမေဇင်းဂရိစ်ဆ
And I want to thank uh, Pastor Wayne for the invitation to be here with you today. That was so gracious of you. I teach church history, and I've had a chance to have some of you uh, in my class. I've had Pastor Timothy. I've had some others of you. If I have, please stand up. You need to be very proud of these people who are spending a lot of energy uh, preparing themselves to serve you better. Uh, I have preached before with a translator like Pastor Timothy, but it was in Spanish that time. And I would say something very short, and he would say something very long. And after the service, everybody said, that was a wonderful sermon. And I told the translator privately later, I think you were saying a lot more than what I said to make me look better. And he said, I was just giving a little context. So Pastor Timothy, uh, give them a little more context to make me look better today. I would try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to look at this woman's life that is pictured here before you, Ann Judson. When I think of Ann Judson, I think of what our Lord and Savior said in John chapter 15, verse 13. Where he, go ahead. Okay. Jesus said, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And Years ago, in 1966, there was a film called A Man for All Seasons. It tells the story of Thomas More. He stood up to King Henry VIII when the king rejected the Roman Catholic Church in order to obtain a divorce and remarry. 
Eric Thomas Moha, uh, England Simbian Pute, Henry Eglu Kore, Simbian Ye Sema, Jacques Bare, Bajon Lesuin, do the Roman Catholic U, Nimbe Kede, Bajon Les Ro, do uh, Roman Catholic, do Luchine, uh, do ye Lessi in Tongue, Guabi, no in Tongue, uh, no, the young man in Tom Yam Bupu, Lemma can be a drajon, Roman Catholic, Gungim, Nimbe Kere, Simbian Pipare. In the movie, we see the courage and the integrity of Sir Thomas More. Eri Tonoro, movie tema, Eri Yusin tema, Jero Jiria Kama, D. G. Chene, Dati Shichin, a John Rigo, Tonoro, D. Thomas More's Relujimi at the drama, Triabare. And likewise, when we look at Ann Judson, we see a woman that was really for all seasons too. Tony to Sove, Dine to Noroya Shema, Mindriare, Enchection has Lucian Leve, Genoro, um, Achene, Alum Adret, Sure, a mute the meat, the Upchit Jongu, do it at the Archit Road, Nale Yavade. A woman who showed courage, compassion, dedication, and sacrifice in her calling to be a missionary to Burma. Do a teta, which no do chidea kama. Padria the less Lucy in, do ye at that tema, a Gayuna, G chin, Sun Lot chin, a dead go pain, pain nine chin, Gima do tati, she chin, Sure, a Yarigo, to a teta tega nature root, three of a day. Anne is sometimes overshadowed by her husband, Adoniram, but believe me, they were a dynamic pair of missionaries. The Kade and Jarole, do ye at that tema. Their marriage was a combining of a joint call to serve as missionaries. Of her own call to missions, Anne says this. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I think I would rather go to India, notwithstanding the almost insurmountable difficulties in the way, than to stay at home and enjoy the comforts and luxuries of life. Oh, if God will assent to make me useful in promoting his kingdom, I care not where I perform his work, nor how hard it will be. What we see in her calling is an openness to be used by God. Furthermore, she had a willingness to move into the unknown and suffer if need be. Indeed, she and her husband would experience many uncertainties and hardships in their mission's work. Indeed, 
They left for the missions field in the year 1812. They were sent out by the Congregationalist churches in America only to change their denomination in route to India where they landed as now Baptist instead. Druha American Ganiro Congregational Lease Low Core at the end of Gani, Dadana Bu Apshi Seal Hot Kajare, Druye, Dadana Kayusin, Lankula Pite, India Nangando, Ayong Makaro, Druye, at the end of Mimba Pichin Han, Hitchin, Mimba Pip Dru, Pyong Le Dora Gujanodu, Duyare. The catalyst for this change from Congregationalist to Baptist was the issue of. Baptism. The road to Lomu, a den of Pyong Lea Chi, a chet, a tiga, a chica jaro, a general Jin Hitchiming La Kanyu Chene, but the Biromawe, Pipare. They were expecting to meet the Baptist missionary William Carey in India, in which they anticipated the issue of baptism to be discussed. So they were studying it while they were on the ship. Crossing the ocean. Throat, Tilomu, Dadana Kayiku, Tuani Red Lama, Timbo Boma, Troga, Dadana Busia Jeepshite, William Kelly Net, Twilo Sheen, Eri Ajongu, Eri Yen Night, Mingla Kan Yu Chen Ajong, Hitchin Mingla Kan Yu Chen Ajongu, Sweeney Japuya and Troga, Jordi Mulink Hedjada Pute. Also, they were thinking about how they would translate the scripture into the language of the people. And one of the words, baptizo in Greek, uh, which means to immerse in water, they decided that the Baptists were right. Erima, troka basin sadles lushin, Greek badasaka baptizo sures kalunga. Ye deman, him you chains, or a dick bear, she de sacalum, she de eri pada, eri sacalungu, a dick bear, mankanswa, bello, pada, piamale, sura tru, sensa, jiria, kama, eri baptist, sure, a joya ha, sensa lucian, sunu lucian, bobi, a man, sumpit me, lutruma, can you catch a day? So they decided to switch their denominational identity from. Congregationalist to Baptist. Through Elomu Swenwe Pire No Mado, through her Congregational Liska Nibiro, Baptist Apito, through Ye, Kankana, Pion Lepo Atitruga, Sumpia Chichala Kejade. Anne was worried that her friends back home might not understand her decision, but she followed her heart and made the change. Erima and after meeting some other Baptist missionaries in India, they then departed for Burma arriving in Rangoon in the year 1813. They soon worked to try to learn the language. Adoniram, her husband, studied from a book, a very formal approach. But Anne picked up the language through immersion in the culture and talking with other people on the streets. Eri Nyama Yoya Yin Jemu Tema Duga 
Soon she was more adept in the language than he was. She translated into uh, Burmese the books of Daniel and Jonah, as well as several tracts and a catechism as well. She later translated the book of Matthew into Thai along with several tracts and catechisms too. In addition to translating, she offered classes for younger girls. In the year 1824, though, a war broke out between Great Britain and Burma. The Burmese authorities were afraid that Adoniram might be a spy for Great Britain. So they had him arrested and put in prison. And saved her husband's life by bringing him food and care while he was in prison. Also, she intervened with the Burmese authorities saying that her husband was not a spy, uh, and eventually he was released 19 months later. By this time, Anne's health was very poor. Uh, she did seem to uh, be on the road to recovery, but later she became ill again and died in the year 1826. What do we learn from her mission work from the years 1812 to 1826? First thing, we see in her a willingness to sacrifice and follow what God was calling her to do, even if her family at first had doubts about it. Her father told her that he was not going to let her go to a foreign country, that he would tie her to the bed first. 
tu apa kalau tu ku tilumu tercha nengan ku matua si cimbau. But finally he relented when he saw the willingness of and wishes of his daughter to go. Now Song Tu Ye Tami Ye A O Bo Ya Song Cha Che Cha Che Ne Lu Song Mu Di Gu Tu Tui Min Khe Ya Ba De. The second thing that her life teaches us is this. Number one, Tu Ye Tu Ma Ya Te Ta Te Ka Ten Yu Ya Re A Che Ka Cha Ro. She proved that women were more than qualified to serve as missionaries. Tu Ga Ti A Miu Ta Mi Ri Mya Le Be A Ta Ta Na Piu she could translate and teach the scriptures as well as any man. She opened the door for single women to come and serve as missionaries. Her husband later said, Send as many single women missionaries to us as you can. Sorry, could you please repeat? Yes. Her husband later said to the mission board back in the United States, Please send as many single women missionaries as you can to help us. Do it, Amuda. Number three. She demonstrated that mission work was not confined only to the preaching and teaching of scriptures, but could include education too. Ah, uh, tuga nampak tu aje ni ne tuat teta tega jero ciri kama patu ya tala susi tata na pule ni ya ma nuka patu aku hobi ochen tinja pechen tete jung sawe mahuk pene jono ro eh tata na aku ma tu jung ya re ayari tata na tingkan sari amyaji petua aku le tu ya bade. Later, this would expand to include other fields such as medical missionaries, agricultural missionaries, missionaries that worked on economic development, and other callings like that. Uh, Number four. Number She discovered that language acquisition occurs more quickly through immersion in the culture rather than a classroom. This is a practice we still use today in training missionaries. Number five. She discovered the value of reporting back to Baptist in America what the missionaries were doing on the mission field. She wrote letters that were published and read in homes, churches, associational meetings, and published in Baptist newspapers. These letters helped raise money for the mission's work and 
recruited another generation of missionaries. เอลโมติซาซองดีอาเพตะตะนาลุงาอะตะลุอะเดบันดายิโกบาอะทอกอะไปยะยะสีบาเดเอริอะเปนเอ่อนอกเคลุงเอริเยตะตะนาคุนอ
Happen for us every year. Our churches are growing, you're becoming more and more independent, and we have less and less opportunity to share together worship events like this. I want to thank each one of you for coming, taking a part of your Sunday afternoon to share together in this exciting worship event. I want to especially thank Dr. McClatchy for coming and sharing from your heart the inspiring information.
Pray for him and his family. He had the additional burden of his father passing away on Monday and having the funeral service yesterday, and, and we appreciate your commitment to us. There's been a lot of people involved in making this happen today. We have our sound and media people in the back that have given us a, a great boost from a, a technical standpoint. Pastors Chris and Danny came and shared with us from their hearts. There's a lot of other things going on behind the scene by Tara and others that, that you didn't see. And normally we have a fellowship meal after this worship, but with COVID just coming back, our food will be takeout food today. And we thank the Korean ladies for the preparation of that food. At the end of this worship time, which is getting close, but at the end of this worship time, we want to take a group photo. Now, those of you who grew up outside the culture of Myanmar may not understand that. But to us in the Burmese culture, it is important. So come and share in that event with us at the end of our worship. One more thing I want to point out to you. Our closing hymn song is going to be Higher Ground. And we're going to sing that in five different languages. And if you need the words for any language, they're in the back of your program. So there will not be any excuse not to sing with gusto. And I guess if you can't read the words, you can at least hum along. We will begin with Karini, followed by Karin, then Burmi, Zomi, and finishing with English. So as we, oh, one other thing I want you to notice, looking through your, your, uh, your worship folder, you will find prayers from some of the pastors that express their heart regarding the situation in Miramar and in the hearts and lives of uh, our people, not only in America, but in Miramar also. Take the, time to read those. The Kamiya Papulutin Sayotema, Pastor Ngabaya Sutong Chen Shibare, Truga Nyama Di Boma, Truye Nalunda Tegani, Kansachi Sisin Lare Sutong Chit Dipchite, Eri Ayari Kukamiya, Achi Uroma Papa. So if our praise music group would come, and uh, we will begin and sing this uh, last song, Higher Ground, beginning with uh, Karini, followed by the other languages. Uh, Okay. 
We have, we have a leader from each language group, so they will stand here and sing their language with it. So every, everybody stand here and just sing. The congregation will stand, and you will join in your language, in however many languages you can sing in, join us.
grace and glory, of peace and love surround you in the coming days. May his power protect you. May his wisdom inspire you. May his love surround you as you seek to serve him in the kingdom work. In Jesus' name.